Hello everyone and now welcome. Welcome to a 1v1 matchup between Krob and Paladin. This game, I believe, taken from DreamHack. Let me go ahead and confirm that. Yeah, DreamHack Warcraft 3 open from the Winter Season Europe qualifier. As we see Krob, crab, Krob spawning as that red undead over here at what I'll call the 4 or 5 o'clock position. Meanwhile, well, not too far away, while being still very far away, we have Paladin spawning as the Yellow Night Elf. Twisted Meadows, a very, very large map, um, which generally lend, um, well pushes towards some very, very strange games. Um, so many gold mines, um, and the threat for f threat for positioning and spacing uh, uh, seems a little bit strange and forced because you're able to well establish up gold mines and expansions all over the place, and you guys aren't really fighting, or the players aren't really fighting for that same location. Anyways, coming back down to the south here, we are looking at, well, a crypt coming in. There's that Ultra of Darkness. There's a Tomb of Relics as the Acolyte now making its rounds out. Been watching you for years. Love the videos. Keep it up. Well, thank you. I want to keep it up. We'll see um, if it still makes sense to keep it up for all you guys out there who enjoy the content. Um, well, I guess a little bit of self-plug because... Well, how else am I going to do it? Uh, please consider subscribing, liking, all of those uh, you know social media tools that make me a little bit more relevant in the Warcraft 3 community. If you do want to directly support me a bit more, um, well, you can always um, what sub on Twitch and or Play use the use Patreon as back. well. That definitely does help me out in the long run. As we're looking at Paladin already taking quite a bit of damage here on that Ancient of War. We're going to be looking at that Ancient of War. Well, going to be forced to uproot here and already going to go ahead and go in for an engagement now. All right, Paladin's Ancient of War down to 600 hit points and continuing to fall rather quickly. Meanwhile, is this archer going to try and shoo away that wisp? Yes, it will. More wisp being brought over as the Death Knight of Krav now making a quick run down we are going up against a warden in this 1v1 matchup as the warden will get off that last strike there and continuing to fight it through all right a purge onto the warden here we could see a shadow strike onto the ghoul ghouls uh, the craw uh, ghoul of Krav backing away for a split second there you go there's that shadow strike now as we're looking at damage adding up death nullseer is going to be right there a little bit more damage is all that's needed death knight well nope unable to get the death quail off onto that ghoul for the save as we could be seeing a bit of zoning as a shadow strike going down on that death knight a little bit of damage on that ancient of war now death knight may be trying to come back around perhaps get a death coil off on that null overseer unable to do so as it has taken far too much damage archer now a little bit on the on the move here as we could see a second shadow strike onto that death knight to try and zone him out but that wouldn't leave that paladin or the paladin of warden very low on mana down to 135 only enough for one more effective shadow strike but we don't see any continuation play coming in here a beautiful detonation t taking down both skeletal minions as the warden now up to 176 mana and could lay down some more shadow strikes if he if she in fact wanted to Ancient of War looking to train up more art or ancients or archers as well. Meanwhile, a line of ghouls coming in from Krav down to the south here as the Acolyte. Well, what is it going to do? Is it going to try and aggro those ogre warriors? No, it is not going to do that. Meanwhile, the Death Knight still going in for the attacks as another Shadow Strike going down onto that Death Knight. This is what Krav wants, though. Krav would really rather have the damage start to rack up on the Death Knight than perhaps go down onto Ghouls. He has, well, taken quite a bit of damage, though, and he is not regenerating any mana whatsoever, as the Warden may try and blink in front. No, perhaps not. The Death Knight, if it actually used Unholy Aura, instead would be able to break free and break away faster. Coming back through here, Ghouls are now retreating back. Death Knight going to be just shy of level 2 once this orange creep camp clears 533 creep camps do not give level 2 to any any solo hero meanwhile skeletal minions going after some wisp off to the side here as the warden away from all the action buying boots of speed instead yeah merry christmas all thank you everyone death knight now going to be coming back around picking up some additional items and now perhaps heading back off to the north 
We are looking at a tech to tier two by Krav. He is staying um, steady at 24 supply compared to Paladin's 27. As we're looking at, well, a little bit of damage coming across here. Oh, interesting lineup. Um, and I do mean lineup pretty literally as we're looking at this. Oh, there goes a death coil. And now the Ancient of War could be taking a lot of damage. Skeletal minions and all this damage could be coming through as well. A lot of damage getting added up. Archers trying to make their way through as well as the Ancient of War tries to sh attack its way back. We're going to see Paladin sitting almost at level three, just shy but does have a wand of mana stealing and could deal some damage onto that death knight we do have boots of speed on this map as since the map is just so large it makes sense to try and well get your hero there just a little bit earlier if your hero is being forced to run laps around the a very very large map such as twisted meadows it does make sense to try and well try and get boots of speed to make the map feel just that much smaller Coming back around here, Ancient of War still fighting back against the Ogre Warriors. Coming back across here, Death Knight with Unholy Aura, Claws of Attack plus 5. Ghouls are now making their rounds out off to the north again as more Skeletal Minions added in. Death Knight sitting at level 2. Well, Unholy Aura with Boots of Speed makes him a very fast movement hero. But really, what creep camp is he going to try and clear? It would be rather dangerous to try and go after a red creep camp with only a level 2 Paladin death knight. Um, does have sacrificial skull. Meanwhile, the Tree of Life by Paladin already getting established here. So the Paladin is going to be going for an expansion as well. As he said some expansion over here to the top right. We do see an Acolyte now wandering around here. Are the heroes, are the units going to spot each other? Yes, they are. As the Acolyte does spot this Tree of Life for just long enough. As the Acolyte now trying to get away. Acolyte does move very or well well speed average speed as opposed to a typical um, other unit there the workers trying to get away that acolyte down to 54 hit points meanwhile death knight has set up or is in the process of setting up an expansion here um, on twisted meadows in the far corner what i'll call that 10 o'clock location a little bit away from all of the action and it may end up getting constructed without well being revealed we do see a ring of regeneration by Krav. And what this is going to do, uh, well, allow the Death Knight to heal up significantly more. But on top of that, if he keeps that ring of regeneration, the Warden, once it spots it, should be, well, should be very careful. All right, Warden going to try to go after a Shadow Strike onto an Acolyte right there. Acolyte is healing up on Blight as best as it can. Warden able to back away. Is it going to be enough to uh, keep that Acolyte alive? I don't believe so. It is going to go down to sub 30 hit points right now. And that final strike will end up taking it down. All right new acolyte already being trained up here as a little bit of harassment coming across death knight being brought over to try and stop all of um stop this expansion from getting set up it feels like this tree of life should have been set up a long time ago but the warden was doing harassment instead death knight now being forced to retreat away does have boots of speed and ring of regeneration able to outrun that warden as that unholy aura does give a little bit of a of a movement speed bonus as we see a blink right there and well are we going to see a second shadow strike all right ring of regeneration the uh, death knight still wandering away very very quickly down to 200 hit points where is it going to go there is another shadow strike right there or oh, no, was that another shadow strike no not another shadow strike that was a follow-up shadow strike that didn't do very much meanwhile ancient protector off to the north here is it going to get completed in time it will get completed but it, i do not believe it is going to be able to stay up um, alive very long a new spirit tower or a ziggurat trying to get constructed here and we are looking at the nerubian tower fighting back against the ancient protector however the nerubian tower does both has fortified armor lich has fallen at level one back across here trying to set uh, shut down that tree of life as that warden now clears up the remainder of the creep camp lich fallen at level one but was able to finish off that tree of life seems like a decent enough trade as the ancient of war Hi, Arya. Ancient, uh, Ancient Protector off over here, now backing away, dealing damage onto that haunted gold mine. Far enough range right there to stay outside of that Ancient Pro um, out of this Nerubian Tower. Ancient Protector himself has about the same range here as we should be looking at, well, the Death Knight making its way back off to the north again to put pressure onto this Ancient Protector. Tree of Life now going to be established. Paladin trying to rebuild up this base here as the Lich now makes its way out across the field. All right. It's strange game so far. We are at Tree of Ages. We are looking at Ancients of Lore now and finally getting into some Dryads and some Tier 2 units. Meanwhile, Undead 
looking at us uh, looking at a lich right now and that's pretty much it here right here right now as the warden now going after some of those units warden maybe trying to go oh death knight unable to get the death coil off there you go you can see the warden are we going to see a frost nova there's a frost nova a little bit more damage and the warden could be in trouble warden down to 59 hit points but able to get away full mana no and no hit points though as the death knight is going to be closing in on that target is going to be able to find that warden no the warden still able to blink away fairly quickly level two blink being able to head back home in a, such a timely timely manner all right potion of healing quickly being used using that moonstone as well as the warden is now going to perhaps try and head but where is it going to head off to warden teleporting off to the north here with that tree of life and now getting to that moonwell as well moonwell well moonwell skeletal minions are they going to be able to take down this tree of life perhaps not ancient of war is already in position the warden getting very close to level five as we are looking also at dryads and ancient of war clearing out away from all of the action as well goblin laboratory going to be cleared up here meanwhile the death knight and and lich that three two combination going after the null brute here warden may get to level five after finishing off all these skeletal minions and because of the bonus experience since it is a solo hero all right all right Mo robe of magi has been dropped down goblin shredder fighting its way through how much damage can this ancient of war take down to 88 hit points trying to replenish some of those hit points there down to 63 could be very bad news indeed as the goblin shredder now gonna go ahead and well get to work warden gonna be brought back over here let's take a look We're gonna go ahead and pick up uh, uses the potion of healing really quickly picks up a robe of magi up to 525 mana on this warden and that is gonna be rather scary to see a 500 mana warden with level three shadow strike trying to snipe down heroes lich still sitting at level two death knight sitting at level four i don't believe any of these heroes should be able to level up here death knight may get close um but and with the lich sharing some of that experience is going to be a little bit further back all right all right still more damage here dark ritual trying to get more mana once again a death knight forest troll trapper being left behind tome of knowledge here as we're looking at an army of dryads pushing in level five now on the warden warden going to be going after some of these units here gonna well there goes one are we gonna see another one right there does have level two blink gonna go ahead and shadow mail there's the dust of appearance there's another shadow strike getting in front as well as it continues to back away all right two ghouls are down and lost while the halls of the dead is taking the tier two meanwhile Krav does have this expansion over here up and running as well. We're looking at two bases on both sides. And strangely enough, both players are still in no upkeep. And at some point, I expected these players to go into low upkeep and and not be mining 20 gold a second their economies can definitely support it we don't see that many upgrades either as the warden is just going to town on all of these acolytes finishing off unit after unit being able to blink constantly in the position all right paladin well with those shadow strikes being able to well put pressure onto those acolytes acolytes not fully mining in the main base as we now take a look back off to the north here paladin now able to put pressure onto krav's expansion here another handful of units perhaps to get taken out there goes a two another two acolytes as more acolytes still need to be trained all right are we going to see another shadow strike we should be looking at another shadow strike there goes another acolyte again that 45 damage over time this unit well trying to retreat back run away dryad they're just holding position behind all of that as the warden says thank you very much let me just take down more and more acolytes acolytes well not having a good day whatsoever Ghoul going to get finished off right there as well as the Warden is just, well, getting very close to level 6. But now he's going to feel the pressure of, on his own expansion. Paladin's expansion. Ghoul is now making their way over. Death Knight is seeing that level 4. Lich has gotten to level 3. Obsidian statues are here. 39 supply compared to 42. Armies are still very large or very small as we're looking at a couple of, well, Frost Novas and Death Coils to finish off a bunch of Wisps right there. Um, able to finish all of those off here tree of life about to get shut down as well as we are trading a haunted gold mine for a tree of life and th there is that exchange moonwell gonna get finished off here there's a last ancient of war as well 43 supply compared to 41 seems like your typical game on twisted meadows both players try to establish up expansions both players able to do it temporarily but because of the size of the map and how large it is not, both of the players were unable to hold on to it
tree of life a new one getting constructed off over here it will be shifting back down to the south bears are already out onto the battlefield 40 over 40 supply for paladin meanwhile krov sitting at 42 as the battle is going to rage on here shadow strike onto well, I don't know what it was. Perhaps a ghoul already taken down as we do see rejuvenation onto that warden. Trying to get some shadow strike off onto more units. Just trying to get to level six. That seems to be the strategy. And five experience shy. All right. Going after those lower hit point, easy to target units, but not the right call there. Finally getting to level six on that warden as we're looking at dark ritual and more mana going across the board. No staff of preservation. And all of a sudden, Druids of the Claw are going to be dropping like flies. Warden sitting at level 6 does have Avatar of Vengeance, but doesn't have the mana to really support it just quite yet. As we're going to be looking at about the Warden drinking from those Moon Wells. Is it, did it drop that Robe of Magi first? No, it did not. Went around the board trying to get a large amount of, of mana. Didn't drop the Robe of Magi, but you got to remember, the Robe of Magi working with the Sobi Mask has incredible, incredible mana regeneration. Is a solo level six warden gonna be enough? Uh, the time, uh, well, at some point, that Death Knight and that Lich can both get up to level five. And if that does in fact happen, a level five Death Knight and a level five Lich can, well, deal large amounts of damage to a, um, to a level six warden. Warden, now down across here. Thank you for all the skeletons at the graveyard. That is what Paladin is thinking as well the avatar of vengeance able to summon up a large number of well a large number of these spirit of vengeances without really having to fight or at a true engagement all right are we going to see more of these spirit of vengeances popping up out of the ground that is going to be the question right here avatar of vengeance has taken a thousand points of damage already meanwhile death knight and Lich trying to battle it up here as we are looking at us. What is that scroll of town portal? Uh, no, nope. scroll of town portal trying to save or teleport down to this location using the scroll of town portal offensively with that tree of life to clear out an expansion. All right, Paladin setting up an expansion of his own to clear out down across here as the warden gonna go ahead and pick up a ring of regeneration for herself. All right, Avatar of Vengeance still living up to its, well, purpose, intended purpose, down to 600 hit points already, but it has really brought down um, a lot of units. So far, that damage is starting to add up here. Avatar of Vengeance, are we at Nightfall? No, we are not. Acolyte's now going to be brought back over, trying to finish off these remaining units again. Avatar of Vengeance battling it through as soon as the Avatar of Vengeance die. The Spirit of Vengeance also dies as well, and that will be the end of that. Poof, there they go. And the Lich and the Death Knight, both sitting at, well, sitting four and three. All right, Dryads, Bears, the single file line through this path in the woods to head on, head on out. We are at Tree of Eternity, obviously, as Bears are all around the map. The Warden now trying to put pressure up on the other side here. And remember, this is still in low upkeep or no upkeep game. 42 supply compared to 50 and now going after those acolytes more acolytes will end up falling and this is just a bad day to be a worker indeed expansion is going to be lost once more tree of life not going to be able to pay for itself as the death knight and the lich are still off over here where is all of this gold being spent all of this gold being spent in colonialism trying to take um, as many as much land as possible but well there, are, there is too much infighting amongst the colonial list as each of their land is being lost continuously. A new tree of life once again being established by Paladin again here. Spirit of Ta Spirit Tower will get taken down 37 supply compared to 48 as Paladin gets up to level 7 on that Warden. Scroll of Town Portal inbound here. Tomb of Relics down, down as well. In comes the army. Destroyers are in position. Death Coil, Frost Nova, and a little bit of damage onto bears. Ghouls are going to get taken down very quickly as well. Abomination spreading that disease cloud pr and pretty fast as well as we could be looking at a Death Coil to finish off this last Druid of the Claw. Are we going to see that right there? Um, well, getting a little bit more damage. Shadow Strike Death Knight gets up to level 5. That is going to be big damage indeed. Could see a, well, a 600 hit point heal onto that Destroyer as the units are still trying to make their way through. Dryad's trying to prance away. Death Knight should be able to catch up some of that distance even if it has Shadow Strike as the Death Knight well, no longer has Boots of Speed. It is now on that Lich. Death Knight trying to use Unholy Aura very, very, uh, very fast but unable to catch up on that distance. Meanwhile, the Lich with Boots of Speed and Unholy Aura should be able to get off one attack right there there's that fail, file well final trailing attack getting that lich to level four 
Warden now back down to the south here. Staff of Teleportation after bringing once more. And well, graveyard construction. Um, well, Krav probably wishes that he could move this graveyard somewhere else where it wasn't actually being used against him. Undead wandering around here. Death Knight Lich on the move once more. And um, as the our avatar of vengeance still, well, back across here taking a little bit of damage as Krav, well, this main base pretty much not worth saving any longer. Only about five minutes of mining left. Death Knight and Lich trying to battle it through. Death Quail, Frost Nova straight up onto a Druid Form Bear. And Druid Form Bear only has around 500 hit or 600 hit points at most. Um, on the If you round up as we are looking at the avatar still looking to back away. Is it 580? On a bear looking for a bear a druid in a druid of the claw in bear form unable to catch one meanwhile back to, off over here krav able to put pressure again all right this is just a long drawn out war of attrition between these players at even though both players have been sitting on two bases for a decent amount of time they haven't been really been able to mine in peace whatsoever all right lich now coming back across here damage going to add up ward and getting the shadow strike off onto that um off onto that poor acolyte acolyte going to get finished off there death knight could have used the death coil perhaps uh, decided not to as the avatar of vengeance says you know what i don't if i can't fight off over here maybe i should just try and engage um, in this position as well we are looking at a little bit of damage being done here We're trying to be rebuilt the spirit of vengeances could perhaps get some more acolytes and then summon even more units again as the spirit tower is about to come on up all right acolyte gonna get shut down and this is just constant harassment all across the map as there are two necropolises inside the expansion location oddly enough avatar uh, or uh, well not avatar warden coming back around gonna get another shadow strike krob getting shut down on all of its mining as the main base mining has already shut down for paladin and as this gold mine has not yet been entangled all right action all across the map here on twisted meadows this does um, well i did say that it came um, or this map does bring about a bunch of interesting games and interesting this game has been as the solo warden army trying to fend off uh, and the undead here and being able to do so rather well an acolyte currently um currently trying to repair this gold mine is it going to end up working uh, well nope not going to be able to stay alive as this avatar of vengeance is going to back away and try and finish off this haunted gold mine a little bit more damage is all that is needed are we going to see yes another acolyte trying to repair this avatar of vengeance down to 113 hit points is it going to give experience i'm not sure it looked like some experience was given right there but the warden is still back down to the south here going after some more acolytes it looks like well there's another avatar of vengeance i was wondering how long the cooldown was it is a three minute cooldown meaning well paladin can just constantly summon up all of those avatars of vengeance all right damage adding in back through again we are not getting any additional mining uh, no acolytes being trained up here undead level four in the lich level five on the death knight trying to put pressure um off over here as a big frost nova finishing off couple of those wisps once more death coil frost nova and well all those wisps taken down no abom or no one abomination one obsidian statue to provide hit points and mana across all of these units here ancient of war trying to fight back warding gonna be be forced to back away as the dryads are now well prancing off to the north or do we see a tree of life or tree of eternity on its way down yes but there is a ghoul here scouting out this location and it is pretty much just expansion control throughout this matchup paladin no longer has any gold whatsoever no more gold goblin shredder gonna get finished off here krav sitting at level four and um, on that lich level five on the death knight as they are going to be moving on out here dryads going after all of these acolytes again where is the avatar of vengeance avatar of vengeance is taking care of things back in the home of krav here as that avatar of vengeance slowly taking damage still all right dryads Google's getting taken down. Warden now sitting at level 8. Are we going to see level 1 fan of knives? Um, perhaps, well, that's the only ability to train, but we shouldn't see it as a mana is still very precious on that. Warden has another Acolyna bite the dust here. Death Knight Lich going after these units. However, with no crypt, point, crypt Fiends and the fact that those units are all magic immune, those Crypt Fiends should not really have to worry. This Warden, though, has to worry, though. Frost Nova right there as that Warden trying to get away. A little bit more damage. Death Coil onto that Warden. The Blink not in time as the Warden goes down to 139 hit points. All right. 
more damage added through here. Warden or Lich could in fact get to level five off of um, off of creep. Death Knight, however, making this a little bit a um, little bit difficult. Was Terranus stand removed? Um, no, it hasn't been removed. I, I this I don't think so. No, they just haven't seen it in a while. They they oh yeah, it just hasn't. Yeah, I know, I know Terranus stand has not been removed. All right, Krovs. Well, having another about 30 seconds on this Avatar of Vengeance. Going to finish off the graveyard. I would actually recommend finishing off the remainder of the buildings here. Not the graveyard, since the graveyard does supply you with skeletons. Meanwhile, back across on the main side of the base here. A Druid of the Claw quickly getting taken down. A Warden trying to blink away. Already has Rejuvenation. No Devour magic on that Warden, though. As that Warden able to take damage and then pretty much shrug it off still. Shadow Strike now onto the Lich. Lich down to 252 hit points. Death Knight should be getting a Death Coil right there. Is the warning going to be able to perhaps blink on in as the Tree of Eternity is in fact engaging and go fighting back here? Death Coil finding that Lich once more as that Lich able to, well, heal back up to full hit points once again. At, well, Entangled Goldmine completely destroyed. There is a Detonation Tree of Eternity trying to fight back. Army is now going to be making its way over. Where is that? A Phantom Knives to finish off um, a, one lone sheep right there as two Spirit of Vengeance is going to be diving on into the location. Death Quail, Frost Nova straight up onto the Warden. Warden perhaps wishing that had some way to get or, or dodge a little bit of damage right now. No survivability items. Death Quail straight up onto that Warden as well. However, the Lich is now low on mana. Damage still adding him back up once more. Lich very close to level 5 is going to get there. No, not going to get there as of yet. The Avatar of Vengeance absorbing a lot of damage. As the Lich is hoping to finish off some of those units. Spirit of Vengeance is going after the undead army here. Avatar of Vengeance could get taken down. That will give level 5 on the Lich. And that may be just enough for um, Krav to really start fighting back. Even the forest is trying to help Paladin win right now. But the Engine of Lore is just walking too slowly. Not going to be able to do all that much. Meanwhile, Lich sitting at 148 mana. And it... Well, 148 mana, no potion of mana being transferred back over. Death Knight needs to get healed back up as well as the damage is starting to add through. All right, Ancient Lore down to 252 hit points, trying to fight back here. Warden, there's a Death Coil, Frost Nova um, under the units. Death Knight now being forced to wander around there. Anti-Magic Shell uh, uh, trying to act as a little bit of additional protection as though Death Knight uses Cloak of Shadows for additional bit of protection as well shadow strike once more goes down death knight is going to have a potion of less or has a potion of invulnerability and a potion of mana going to be able to get a death claw off onto that lich perhaps a little bit early not using every bit as you see a potion of invulnerability used right there lich could have gone after the dryads one shot would have taken it out here as we're looking at this ancient of wind about to get taken down all right ancient of wind gonna be lost here death knight gonna perhaps get to level six are we going to see level 6? No, we are not. 35 experience shy. Tree of Eternity trying to entangle this gold mine once more. Warden is at level 8 and a half. Has anti-magic potion, a potion of mana. Sold the robe of magi already as the units are going to try and engage again. Shadow Strike onto that Lich. Not That damage, however, is not going to stick. Death Knight going to be able to easily trade that back for another Death Coil as the Lich can turn around and just go after one Dryad there. Beautiful save on the Lich once more as one Dryad gets taken down. Avatar of Vengeance has 35 more seconds. Tree of Eternity is trying to fight back. Death Knight gets another Death Coil off and finishes off the Warden at level 8. It looked like the Warden was about to blink but unable to do so and the lich gets to level six all right night elf did not have any more wisps that i saw um he could have sold some items to try and get gold but at that point once we saw two level five undead heroes and um, going up against a solo warden the warden was the target of all of that magic damage and um, hello how are you doing um, yeah, just the target of all of that damage. Both sides um, really didn't go into high upkeep for or low upkeep for very long. Army, um, what resources units? Army size, largest army, fifty-five supply resources lost to upkeep, only fifty-one gold. So what is that? Seventeen seconds of mining. Um, seven, yeah, seventeen sec or no? Is it? Yeah, seventeen seconds of mining. Um, uh, allowing for and and that was it that was that was as much as paladin got into low upkeep a long drawn out battle um over 20 minutes 
And both players had a multiple or two bases at one point. And a level eight warden just end up not able to s stick around long enough and, and deal with the hero nuking of a level uh, five death knight and a level five lich. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. Stay tuned for more Warcraft 3.